Hey man, it's Matt. Um, so I just got the email and I was just poking around um, and I just wanted to show you sort of what I do to troubleshoot. There's a couple different places to troubleshoot. The best first place to go is to go under Site Admin and click on the Admin Log. And this will basically show you who's been logged in and who's done what. So you'll see that I've attempted to make a few changes already. I've, I've messed around with the home page a little bit. I've used the Archive Manager module to restore the photo gallery to its earlier version. Um, uh, and then this is where I logged in, and this is where you had logged out. So I'd use the Archive Manager module because it looked like the photo gallery was the problem. Um, but it turns out it wasn't. I made the changes to the photo gallery and made a few other changes, and it wasn't. So I went to the admin log here, and I noticed this here, News um, 42, an article was added. So I'm guessing that there's probably something in that article that's causing that that issue. So I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to news and I'll go to article 42. Um, it doesn't say what the article number is, but it's probably the last one here. 192 um, so I'm going to go to HTML just so I can see everything. And again, that's so the only thing in there is, is this. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to cancel. I'm just going to make that inactive. And so I'm going to set the status to draft so it's not showing up in the news. I'll go back and give it a shot and see if that's what it was. I have a pretty good idea that's probably what it was. Yeah. Um, now, the only problem... I'm not sure why this is showing up. Clear my cache and see. Let's see. Uh, Let's see, so we're still getting this. I'm not sure why this is preschool gingerbread houses, why that's still showing up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just, oh, I see, cancel. So here's another one here, preschool gingerbread houses. Let's take a look at this one. So this one's, I see. So this one has a bunch of photos there. Let me take a look at the HTML. I see. I see. Okay. So, so we had a couple issues that we identified. Um, first of all, just having a news article with, with just a gallery is throwing errors. And it shouldn't. I can get in there and figure out what code is conflicting um, so that that can work. So I'll have to get back to you on that. I'll have to get some more work done. And then um, the reason this is causing an issue, um, which is curious, is because of the size of the images, I believe. Um, so the fact that we have all these images in there, I think, is bumping. It looks like it's bumping over the rest of the sidebar. No, probably not. That wouldn't make sense because there's overflow. I've set it up to overflow, and as you can see, the images, you get a little slider here. Um, so let me go back to the home page. Submit that. Oh, wait. Yeah. So submit that. Go back to the home page. When I was messing around with the home page, I may have turned off the sidebar just to play around. Activate right sidebar. Okay. 
So I had shifted, I had changed the template. And when I changed the template, this must have cleared. So I just need to add the sidebar back. So indeed, the problem was um, adding that news article with just a gallery call. And again, that shouldn't throw an error like that. I'll have to get in there and fix it. Um, I'll have to fix it on all the sites. It's going to take a while. But um, I'll let you guys know when I, when I solve that glitch and get back to you. But in the meantime, I'm going to um, get the sidebar sidebars back up and running. And everything should be okay. I just have to adjust the order of it. So that's that. There we go. Our school programs. I'm not sure if that's the right order or not. I think it is. Um, we don't need this links one. Which one's that? This one. Second content box. No header. All right. So, all right, I think we're back in business. Oop, I disabled the slider too. All right. Okay. So we're back. So anyways, just to sort of reiterate, um, there's two places you can go. The first, and I actually went to the second place first, but the, the first place you should go is under site admin, go to the admin log and see, you know, what generally the problem was caused by the last edit, you know, the last change. And that's all we knew was News 42. Um, I went ahead and actually jumped under content to the archive manager module. Um, which allows you, if you click on expanded archive view, you can see by date. And it's October 19th. Sometimes it does this. It doesn't show the most recent. Um, and if you click sort ascending, I'm oh, sorry, no, sort descending, but you click the date. Um, and then do that again, and it'll it'll re it'll resort them with Thursday, December twentieth. So these are all the last changes. And I saw the photo gallery, photo gallery, photo gallery. You notice I didn't see the news. So this this is a pretty good archive manager, and you can actually revert back to an earlier version. So since I had reverted back the photo gallery, I'm going to go back to this one. It's going to say, "Are you sure?" And I'm going to say, "Okay." Um, so it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it um, catches the news type. So really, the best thing to do is probably admin. Anyway, just want to show you that, and let me know if you have any questions.